I'm back at Wallasey today to see how the RSPB's Wild Coast project is progressing. Earlier in July this year, I came and filmed the breaching of the sea wall, uh, which is directly behind me. And as you can see, the reserve has been now, for the last couple of months, subject to regular inundation by the uh, ebb and flow of the tide. I've come to have a look round to see how that has affected the reserve presently and to have a look how it's changed. So let's go for a walk and find out what's been happening. Now that the seawall breach is complete, the eastern reaches of the island have been transformed. Large areas are now subject to tidal waters, beginning the evolution into salt marsh and mudflats. While the footprints of contractor vehicles remain visible, it's possible to look into the future and see how the environment will be when this phoenix rises from the ashes. lagoons and scrapes, islands and channels, all will contribute to providing conditions that will attract a wide variety of species, both resident and migrant. Landscaping has already begun to provide low-lying islands for refuge and to encourage ground nesting species. Nature has already begun to reclaim her territory and a lot of colourful areas still remain to be seen, especially during summer. Improvements have already begun in signposting and information as well as new pathways for visitors. Further inland and on the salt marshes and mud flats of the River Crouch are to be found multiple opportunities for bird watching. Buildings are springing up like this shelter and bug hotel. And this marquee for the official opening. So put a date in your diary and come and visit for yourself soon.